Four little letters, one big burly word, synonymous with high power engines and Mopar vehicles for decades and resurgently lately. But what does it mean? Hemi is short for hemispherical. Okay, why that's a big deal to an engine makes for an interesting story. What better place to tell the story of the Hemi than the most famous place that ever built them up? Keith Black Racing Engines here in LA. All right, Ken, so here we are, legendary Keith Black Racing Engines. How long has this place been here? Since 1966. Keith Black, Ken's father, began building hot engines for his and his friend's race boats in the late 50s. Chrysler came calling in 1965, asking Keith to work over their 426 Hemis for dragsters, funny cars, and boats. Soon, the Hemi engine was almost a household word. By the late 60s and early 70s, Dodge Hemi Chargers and Plymouth Hemi Cudas were becoming among the most fabled American muscle cars, and today, among the most valuable. What do these engines do that almost nothing else can do? Well, it's just the amount of power you can obtain from them because of the design of the hemispherical combustion chamber. <laughs> And hemi comes from what? What does it refer to? For hemispherical would be the terminology. So what are we looking at here? This is what kind of a head? This is a wedge head. This is basically a conventional wedge type design head. Notice how the intake and exhaust valves line up, but side by side across the airflow in the combustion chamber. And the hemi head, they're opposite each other and you can actually get larger valve sizes in there. The advantage to this is the cross flow of the intake to the exhaust puts a better swirl on the mixture and with the spark plug being in the center it fires off in the center of the mixture which is right over the top of the piston that gives it a better push down in the cylinder bore. Yeah. So disadvantage. Well <laughs> downside looking from a manufacturer's viewpoint is it takes a lot more to produce a hemi head to make it work than it would a wedge head. This is the layout for the valve set up here. Intake valves across here and exhaust valves across here. Okay. And because they're opposing each other this way, you have to now be able to open and close the valves. So now to accomplish that, it's be pretty tough to have one shaft in there. So what they have, and Chrysler did all this stuff and, and they engineered it all, is they have a rocker stand set up. And all that apparatus makes for a wide head design and a wider engine at a time when every millimeter under the hood is valuable real estate. Is it an efficient, a fuel efficient design or is it more of a power design? It's, boy, <laughs> if you talk about, you know, solenoids and everything else, I think it'd probably be, in my, in my opinion, more of a power deal, you know, efficiency. This is making power the old way, right? Yeah, yeah, the old school, pretty much, yeah. And they don't use the same kind of pistons that other engines do. No, they're unique to their own application because of the hemispherical design of the chamber. For a high compression, 12 and a half to one, you need a piston that has more of a dome on it to be able to compress it, and it will also form in the shape of the chamber along with that. So there's a little downside to a domed piston, right? Yes, they're a little bit heavier, quite a bit heavier. Yeah, let me see this guy. It's a big chunk of metal. It's big, yeah. yeah. And the problem being, when you have that, if you're trying to make a high revving engine, you've got to pull this thing back every time it comes to the top of the stroke. It's got to be pulled back down by the rod again. And uh, it's a lot of weight to keep pulling back. So for the modern engine maker that's trying to do a high RPM, small, narrow, light engine, right. there are a number of things about a traditional Hemi that doesn't really go there. Not, does not a desirable feature. You want a lighter weight piston, and you do want to rev them a lot higher, or smaller yeah. bore and stuff, so that would not be conducive for what they're trying to do now. Yeah. This remains a very specialized, red-blooded, yep. American engine. Horsepower. 